you know, it, it's like I'm at TED Talks, a TED conference. I have never been there, but I feel like that. We can speak about round table, we will have a quote. I can see that Anton and Dmitri are here. Who's here? Peter is here, so everyone is here. Okay, how does it work? It's not easy for me. So, you know, my name is Alexei Luftin. I will tell you about the analysis of troublesome queries. My approach is non-standard because I think that the main problem of performance is related to two zones. The first one is 1C code. Everything can be amended in 1C or RM. For me, 1C is not a company. I know what the company is. So, 1C, it has a lot of subsidiaries. This is a legal entity. And there are platform specialists and Java specialists and 1C specialists. Uh, they write on problem-oriented language and to access the database they have ORM. Uh, there are Rubist and Junkies. Do we have some someone here that is not 1C specialist? So Postgres works on 1C in all companies. Okay then. So they change everything in 1C. Actually you can see what we do on this website and you can write me by this address. So you can see it on the slide and you can write me if you want to get some specific information. So I will tell you about our latest experience. I would like to start from the problems. The way we solve a problem of 1C performance now, without Gilov services, without console. Apart from cases of serious errors, this is a troublesome query. If we have specialists here, they will see that it's not a troublesome query. So select several fields. As Fedor Sigaev said, you can see that order by was done, the platform added it itself, so everything is quite nice. We get into index, and why do we get into the index? Well, actually, the structure of the table shows us that these super fields actually have human readable names. This is the register of tasks. These are tasks that were saved in the table, the list of tasks. Well, maybe you worked with Silo. In that case, you will understand that this is a list of tasks. Background tasks table. This table has several fields. Data area is not really interesting for you, but this is a divider computed by a field of 857th field, and my favorite thing is key, the key of task, GUID actually. This is a unique task key. This information gets into the index, all of this gets into the index, and even this magic cost that I hate. And if you see this query, Will it seem to you right or wrong? Wrong, I guess. This is not console. This is GUI. And when I see such queries, I think the following. Why do we select all table fields? If DBA says this query, it seems quite normal. And I am wondering, why do we need to select all fields? from the register of 
records. Who needs that? And I know that Info RG 2250C is the register of data, the register of rules, actually. In the theory of DBMS, this is a table where several fields are a condition. You select this condition and receive a key. I know that bond C specialists read these data register record and write something here in the code. So if it happens once, that's okay, but we found out that over one day this operation is conducted 26 million times. Well, yes, we get into the index. So every record lasts about 7 nanoseconds, but I lose 7 minutes per day totally, 26 million times. Why? Why do we need it? So what is it? This is a universal code. Well, so we get an abstract object, a set of records. After that, we select the first record, you know, I frequently see this zero in the code and I get frustrated by it. And after that, we have a cycle of this record. One field is changed and this information is re-recorded. And this is done 26 million times per day. So this is a universal reader and universal writer. This is one module module one stack without any constant transmission. If I wrote it on Python, this would be the same, but here it's written in Russian. Sometimes it happens like this. So what is the essence? This is a product. I gave you the example of a code. This is a product that has 73 stars on GitHub. Its author is Evgeny Pavluk, 1C test manager. If you want to launch Hadoop on 1C, may produce algorithm you can download it from github this is a subsystem for may produce launch and when you launch it you will see that 26 million times it will read the task key to synchronize all threads and the main thing is that i know this person this person works in mts and he's very smart i know him so this was his mistake. Actually, we do not have to read this set of records. We can re-record it at once. And there is a subsystem for MapReduce that works. This is a very small error. That's not really bad. The main thing that we need to know is that if we remove one C word, and speak about it from the point of view of DBA. So I, I want to explain you the way it can be found out. We need to know that if all the record is selected, then from the point of view of DBA, you need to understand that someone at the side of proposal does something wrong. I tried to use refactoring. Actually, we do not need to read it. And when we use filter for this set of records, maybe you've seen the R section. So someone read this key. It means that there was another query, select all keys. And after the several queries, they do, they do the same job. It seemed to me that it's better to do it like this. So we select all tasks, we do not read any sets, we just need to read the task key. And after that, we record and re-record it. In fact, what do we do here? We select two fields. For further algorithms, we need to select two fields, not the whole sampling. And after that, we do insert and update. It's not really difficult. 26 million times you can save 7 minutes per day, 7 minutes, 14 minutes, 25 minutes.
best. How did I come to it? Where did I take it from? Why did I decide to optimize a set of records? Well, certainly, I will explain you what instrument it is. Maybe you have guessed what it means. It is Polo, most likely. I will explain you who they are. So, suddenly, I saw an increase of CPU. Although before that, Postgres worked great and I had a good sampling. And I saw one C specialists like beautiful pictures. This is red CPU. It used to be green. And I can see that these fields within one day. So I transferred 1.15 gigabytes by the net. I don't know why. And CPU increased. Why? I didn't fit into the cache. Well, actually, infrastructure specialists did something, virtualized something, and this is a real chart. Cache decreased. This query was not within cache anymore because of the, the whole chart changed. Do you understand the logic? Many people know that I like auto tests. So I want only qualitative things to be produced. And, you know, I think that you can understand the arrow now. And from small things, I'd like to move on to larger issues. When suddenly your cache goes down on DBMS, your CPU goes up very suddenly, and one query accounts for 20%. Another thing will be faulted as well, and you will have an error for CPU. In that case, well, you know, there are infrastructure specialists, and there are managers and senior managers. They will come to you and say that Postgres is slow and you need to use MS SQL. I saw it actually. And you know, there are Oracle and DB2 enthusiasts. There are people that would say that in Oracle we have never had it, although some people patch Oracles. One C queries that are sent to Oracle are patched directly. No one actually knows about it, but on Infostart there are hypothetic publications regarding the way you can do it. And performance goes down. This is a stable subsystem that is used in many cases. The number of contributors is 400. 400 smart ones see specialists code something on GitHub. And this is the thing that we have. Well, actually, we also launched integration bus. This was the I on one C gig thing. And we saw the following. And you can see the same thing in your case. It's not to want to dwell upon it. If this aspect is not started properly, it can stop it completely. So, you either have enthusiasts, Linux specialists that like these kind of sweaters, they, they're enthusiasts, or you have a micro team with one C specialist that can write code implement accounting system and set Linux, or you have DBA zone, hardware zone, 1C zone, and everyone is protected from other people with shields. You know what shields are. This is a transfer of responsibility. For 1C specialists to deploy release on productive, you have to count the length of restructurization the idle time, th this kind of things. How can we achieve it right now? Well, Postgres is a great thing, but this is an ecosystem. On the plenary session, Alec said that Postgres is a service that works like Postgres.exe or Cut Prot Postgres, but actually 
Actually, it is a real ecosystem. There is a core and extensions. There are several companies that contribute to the core. There are several companies that develop their own solutions on the basis of vanilla, vanilla core. And this is an ecosystem, and it has interesting solutions. Why are they not famous? Uh, you know, in MSSK, you put a tick, switch on something and some other things, and in that case, you have to use Google and search for settings. One of the extensions that will help you to do that. Well, do what? To investigate the issue of performance fast without console. Because console is pain, it's not for everyone. This is Power Collector or Power Web. Power Collector is a service. It is a service that is uh, that runs uh, together with your uh, uh, with your instance the access of DVD, and there is an extension Hypo PG. It is the topic of the absent indexes. When you go to Postgres, you will experience a lack of indexes. In the community, there is an experiment, and a pretty well one. The Afterpol company realized this hypothetical index that supports a, a creation of a hypothetical in index. It's not a mission. SQL thinks that you made a mistake, and Post Postgres thinks that it will hypothetically help you. So there is a difference. And now, if you will start Postgres, if you have an incident from Postgres, uh, I do remind you it is a screenshot of PG Admin. It is application, and you can run this application and grant access. And there is a po POVA basis. You can rename it, but it's just a basis. And here is a bitter part in it. To create an extension you will need start you need to start Postgres for 1C Postgres Pro 1C 10 three modules out of the repository of Postgres Pro I just showed you this uh, visual console you take the distributive of extension into get and and re assemble it as an extension. You will need three additional modules, Contrig, Dev and Python. By Python. So, three additional packages. Packs. And uh, you will reassemble it. You will have three extensions. One extension will catch up with the statistics. The second is hypothetic ind index. And the second is uh, the index that will catch up with the cache. We will speak about this later. So how can you see that everything works? When you will see in the processes of uh, Postgres one more process, Power Collector, and Power Collector just collects the statistics that I showed you, texts and plans of queries. And one more moment. For the statistics, is th this database will uh, rise and will be bigger and bigger. And I would rather suggest to make a replica and put all this infrastructure, all these collected statistics from the main uh, instance of Postgres, we will lead it to a slave replica. I will just write down the scripts. And on the main one, we leave statistics for one day or for 10 days on master and uh, the others uh, is uh, on the slave for us to preserve the annual statistics. The thing is that POVA on the central master server is uh, cleaning up the statistics uh, in, a sing in a singular way. I just made it on JSON f to show to you that the replications in post Postgres are just a console and nothing more. I will speak about replication in a bit later. So this is what we will have to do. Create it out of the initial programs, then set it up for seven days, once seven days or once one minute or once per second. It is made for the base to 
mm, to not to be too huge. I will now tell you why, what, what are we making this for, what is our silver bullet. So we manage the replication and in the end we see it log, uh, we see a login and a password for the console. You don't need to go into console, you just go inside of the web and there is something red, yellow, green, something beautiful. You will have six extensions to start the POVA, the collector. Then you will check and uh, you will see whether there are some configurations altered. Like if somebody comes and uh, alters the parameter, you see the history of changes in the parameters. If somebody comes and uh, makes max connection lower, you will see who, when and why did it. StatCache, QuailStash and HypoPVG, hypothetic index is a, is a fiery thing for one C person. So, peculiarities. As I already told you, if you start, if you will start POVA, POVA is a set of software for collection, analysis, and review. Read it out from replica, and then load, and then you can download it. And you know, by this means, you will not be in a parasitary state. Before, because this is a basis on replica, you need to understand it and you need to make at least a backup. Because statistics is great. We have managed to create it on Windows and I can I have not seen hypothetic indexes only on Windows. For now it is applicable for Unix because only for Unix systems. Linux, Debian, Toaster and Hub. Not Alpine, but this protected distributive from Rosbitech that is not working with one C Astro Linux. And now, after this, this console is not for administrators; it is for experts in one C. I will speak about Oikmen. Imagine you have started a software software that lets you to investigate problem in queries and then receive the report of correction. But we make also organizational events. We make this ta task for PG1C competition. If this is a team of four people, uh, we also use this address and to this address we are following the most the most vivid problems and uh, queries and once in two weeks we have a calendar meeting between administrators uh, and IT specialists for them to take a closer look on the topical uh, questions and queries for further refactoring Without this meaning, without this monitoring, we will close. We will work as we work, but this organizational events shows great results. I did not know whether there will be one C specialists or no, but if you don't want to go to web portal, but if you want to research PS. This is just a basis. This is an internal, external data source, and this is a test, test and C and test selectors for Pola, and this is a SCD. It's got a uh, story. So this is the construction that is featured online. Authors. The authors of Pola are Dalibo, and from French, from France. Actually, I in the, I understand that this is something like Postgres Pro, but in France, they are making some interesting extensions on Python. I think they earn money for introduction of Postgres in France. They have a French website, but they have also registration on GitHub, and they show all about the view in the topic of POVA. And I think you will like this. After they introduced POA, 
they understood that the competences are so low that the POWA is a very serious thing. You don't need this uh, red, yellow and green uh, um, visualization. It's just a teamwork of, on POWA. It's a Python application as a service. The same service as POA. This is a separate extension for statistics and a great console for the ones who don't work with Garofano and with monitoring. It's just for the people who live, like this red, yellow, and green colors. You can also work this with this with Python. The results. Why? What did I need it for? Because when you go, when you, when you start to work with a console, the administrators are happy, but 1C people are not happy. And if you go to 1C with the CUP, with this technical journal, they're happy, but administrators are not happy. They don't understand this. What What is it for? So, catch, grab, lock, where is it, and where can we search it? This soft allows us to unite both groups of 1C, so the ones responsible for product and for code, and they start to make a refactoring of uh, what I showed you, 22 millions of queries with only one mismatch, or one, one mistake. GUI is easier, but uh, regular people still start to use PSSQL and everything that is uh, covered on all plenary sessions. The ones who are interested in this, they are deep into it. The others stay at GUI, GUI, like MSSQL. In the beauty, with the, they stay with the beautiful things. This is without uh, without other features, but this shows. In the end, as I stated, in the end, as soon as we start to a refactoring of, to of code, when we start auto testing, but this is not a field of my expertise for now, of my lecture, perhaps. This is not my deal. I am not into tests now. And this is my new space that I wanted to show to you. These are two uh, possibilities for you to install and to investigate. Thank you. In the end, I am very thankful to Piotr Gribanov and the Anton Darashkevich and Dima Yakimovsky, Andriy Sergeyev, and myself and Dorji. Because we tried to share our experience that would be useful and now we need to make a small case about what else we could say about 1C and Postgres. Yes. Are there any questions or I will just speak further? Oh, Valeri. May you please pass the mic microphone there? Do you want to ask questions? The problem is the same. It remains the same. How to start, how to close your risks. Perhaps I will go deeper, and I don't want to be a mentor here. I just wanted to ask a question about this case of 26 millions, 17 microseconds. It's still 7.5 minutes per 24 hours. Then my question is, perhaps this is not a question but my opinion, the optimization is great, perfectionism, uh, perfectionism is great. But in the real, real world, it has strict limitations. One of the limitations is the physical time that uh, can be uh, spent by one CE specialist. If you have one, speci one CE specialist, he has a set of uh, operations for the next six months. And if he uh, uses two months or two, 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 two weeks to spare 10 minutes of one people per month, the, there will be not return on investments. 
it's politically great and we can also speak about the prices but still this is a problem it needs to be tackled that's all yes I do believe this is not an accurate thing no this is this is a gravering and priority is the thing of managers yes priority is to think of managers because this is my uh, B DBMS and somebody takes one gigabyte for 26 million times per 24 hours and manager things actually the manager did not know about the refactoring that is made no but 20 percent of time to to work in the technical department so this is the classical thing I do understand because this is uh, the optimization must be made to date I'm here I, I'm here with Alexei but still not everybody knows that this the, that is free of charge for Postgres but Postgres all also needs to create a tuple uh, install it to sub rows and in the natural order and it's just only my knowledge here my experience many algorithms in Postgres are quadratic to the rows uh, in the table therefore I think this is a correct work and from the engineers from the point of view of engineer I would not vote for it but you know we have a routine in our pool and we do propagate it 20% of time of the developer developers must be a part uh, their work in the technical depth and the list of technical depths according to the priorities if there would be uh, 20 gigabytes per second or you will love it there is a basis of 170 gigabyte and every 24 hours according to Poe and PG Bajor to FDB there were going 110 gigabyte so every day it, it was taken out then deleted this means we uh, we take it we make calculations and then kill it this means that somebody did not understand that they will need to create uh, temporary tables additionally so this is the technical volume of technical depth that should be covered in one day per week for some reasons perhaps it could be one day per two weeks but still this is also a structural question uh, there is a technical depth you can calculate the the tasks and make it 20% plus and you do, do you make oversale or not imagine if there is a client coming to you and ask how much is how much will you take for Postgres contour I say two weeks pilot and plus two weeks in a productive or technical overview in the reality there is one day but everything can happen could happen there could be also technical depths and the next topic well you don't see the system well you don't see anything about it but if one uh, 26 million times operations are made in 24 hours I would logically think why do I need to make this perhaps this is a redundant work perhaps we don't need these 26 millions perhaps we need only ten thousands of useful operations yes of course this is the redundancy but this is uh, algorithm of the BSP analogous task manager for 1c if you see in the stack upper you won't need additional selects this was just a task that was stopped it has to be stopped it's a redundancy reading two redundancy readings the one is uh, is uh, is entered together with my project I would uh, suggest that we go back to Postgres I want to share my experience here for the first time on the conference pro colleagues from Postgres Pro are here there are three or two of them and they're wondering why are people afraid until now and now Alexei make 
tells about this reassembly and so on that uh, you are propagating the UMC. Speaking about our angst, of course, at the beginning you don't feel so very well, but if the Postgres is started and if you have Zabbix, Zabbix has many free tools for, for Postgres packages. They are already collected, everything is uh, ready, everything is in interface, not so cool at, at, uh, at Alexi. You will see something there, some red or some green. Yes, you can also make it like this, but you need to understand that the other things are redundant. I think for the third year, I think Filler cannot remind me. I think I've seen you on a partner seminar of 1C, and you were speaking about Postgres. There was a group in Hotel Cosmos, the similar group. And at the end, Fyodor told me, does anyone understand wall? And I was the one who understood wall. I think uh, Fyodor can uh, understand this. It was before three years ago on this uh, conference. On one seat, there were only six people sitting here. Today, they are 80, I suppose, perhaps 100. That means we are not afraid. There is only one last step left. Everything is normal. It's great. Then and then we can uh, win over the second misconception. Postgres is not for free. You have free access, free distribution of uh, Postgres. If you want to receive uh, support, you can work with Postgres Pro. It's very simple. It, it is like this. Then you can install Powder and this board team, I suppose, or team board, yeah, team board. And team board, you can collect it. So, I mean that 1C specialists, don't be afraid. Try testing everything works. Not do not have to fear anything. I would like to add something. Alexei Sot said the following, without taking into account the services of Gilov, according to long queries, bad queries, I can say the following. On our website, we provide access to everyone. You can use it. You can analyze queries, the time of queries, the context of queries. Everything can be seen very clearly. The limitations for common users are not significant. They do not depend on your DBMS, MS, SQL, or Postgres. You can see query plans the way they are executed, and you can optimize them. Well, uh, actually, I was interested in hypothetic indexes with query plans. And actually, the matter is the matter is that 1C has an interaction system that is based on Spark Postgres. Some people implement Geek Service, Geek Lab, that use Postgres by default. And actually, Geek Lab works on Postgres Pro. And suddenly, in 1C world, we have Postgres as a competence. Not even in the world of 1C, but in the world of business application engineers. And you know, power is for everything. And, well, uh, I don't know, what else is interesting? Valerie, you wanted to ask something? Well, uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to hear the previous presentation. Do dockers work? Well, unfortunately, the speaker didn't come. Something happened, so he didn't manage to come. So do I have to open it on my laptop and show you that it is running? Well, actually, I provided this information on GitHub. And actually, the issue of Docker, who is interested in it, who wants to listen something about Docker from Alexei? OK. So I would like to ask the first question, why? Can I, can I ask zero question? Can I ask sub-question to this question? 
and after that Alexei will answer your questions. Could you please raise your hands, those that are afraid when they hear that you need to collect something, to install something. So it's not like you downloaded a file and use it, but if you have to assemble it, it's like a barrier for you. Do we have such people here? Okay, let's speak about Dockers. A Docker is a label. So why Docker? If you attended one C partner conference, maybe you have heard something about one eight four one C cluster. It is published on partners V eight. Its better release is eight four. It's not for you just that I'm telling you about it. Potentially it could be launched in container environments, that's why you will have to work with dockers. Maybe this will not be a docker, maybe this will be an open shift. So an X container will be used. And why do we need it? I have Linux scripts. Assemble hyper PG, preassemble it from initial documents, reassemble some extensions for Lin Linux to tune it for current parameters to launch Python scripts or bash scripts launch some scripts. Docker allows you to fix it in layers and make an image out of it. This was proposed by Dmitry. Docker is a container. This is a supplied container that can be launched as a service. And you're sure that the supplier of this container has signed it. It is valid. This is a valid container with Postrex for 1C with four table spaces. This is my favorite part. So for PGT, V8 data, all this information, it has several table spaces. You call them disks. So I wrote it once. Uh, no, no, not actually, I, we wrote it once. So this knowledge allows us to assemble a machine with one script, this Linux becomes a magic light docker run. Dear docker, please launch Postgres on this port and the disks are there. And that's it. No one likes console. That's why Red Hat launched Proteina. For container launch, you enter it, enter your login and passport. It gives you infrastructure and you say that you need to launch this container with a picture with Postgres on board. So it can docker almost all applications. That's why you need a docker. This is delivery. Delivery of complicated applications with complicated tuning. So supply. The second thing is orchestration. A docker has a swarm, you can say. Minus minus KL. So you need 10 instances. You want to deploy them fast. You say one. So launch one of them and make 10 if you need them. I have a lot of sonars for clients. I have a lot of sonars and GitLabs. I have a lot of micro bases on Postgre. Why do I need it? They should be separated. There should be an opportunity of reverse migration. And you know, all of them are crazy about safety. There are no 10.1.1. You will never see the inside area of this container. It is available only for a specific customer. So I say that this client needs Sonar and GitLab. These are his disks and this is his sub-network. This is his gate and his VPN. Although all of this is on one hardware server and no one knows what my virtualizer is. Do you understand the principle? So this is also about orchestration of containers. Regarding Postgres, I will not use terabyte base there. I'm not ready to do that. Well, 
I did not see many one C bases that would be larger than 400-500 gigabytes. Most of them include a kit of Bouncy bases. I'm not going to speak about micro accounting that have 1.5 gigabytes over one year. They use fresh mostly. That is from 1 gigabyte till 100 gigabytes. And for them, Docker environments are okay. There were some network problems on Docker, migration problems on Docker when a new container is introduced. For example, you had container 9.6 and now you have 11th container. How to migrate? This is not a typical task. A Docker cannot be used for it. So you cannot press a button. This is 9. Please migrate to 10. There is no such button yet. I have a question about Docker. I haven't seen people, you know, people that use Postgres and Docker can be divided into two types, the ones that do not care about performance and the ones that say that Postgres in Docker is slow. I would like to see people with large installations that do not complain about performance and that care about performance. Well, I can promise you, I can show you our work. And you will see that there are no problems with performance at all, but we tuned it a lot. So, moment two is applied. And what load is used? How many machines does it monitor? Elastic collects information from all Docker hosts and from the host system, so Docker containers and host systems. Docker has a feature. You enter a host machine, the main machine, where a lot of containers were launched. You say PC errors, you launch Task Dispatcher, and you can see all host courses, and I can get complete information from the host machine. The load, well, an average base, is about 30 gigabytes. I have micro bases. Well, uh, I don't know, you know, I cannot complain about performance. The main problem is that XML, there is an error of XML or GitLab can log background tasks. Well, maybe it's difficult to enumerate some characteristics. Client has Zabbix on Postgres 300 gigabytes data per day. Why is Zabbix okay without Oliver? Well, Postgres is a back-end for Zabbix. I have Pagabaja on the host. All logs are processed by it. About 120 gigabytes per day. These are logs. These are Pagabaja's logs from the whole host. From one instance. Well, that's quite a lot. And Pagabaja itself is a system for preparing reports and it processes reports for half an hour on one machine. It's quite long and I receive a report. This is not Docker's problem. Well, I haven't seen actually any problems related to Docker. Well, uh, what problems have I experienced regarding Docker? It happened about two years ago. The disk is slow. So you give everything you have to the Docker and it works slowly. You eliminate the Docker and launch Postgres without Docker on the same physical machine and you can see that the performance is much higher. And according to reports you can see that it is limited by the disk. 25,000 transactions. We had it in Java as well. Docker has its specific feature, default driver of file system. Docker is virtual and it has a driver for a file system. So it does not record information in the files directly. By default, it has overlay. overlay. This is a virtual file drive. So, container process was launched and Postgres was launched and Postgres cannot see what was given to it by Docker. And we experienced it 
when we use Java application with 16 gigabytes of random access memory and 8 cores and it wrote some file temp so it started going down because of the disk driver after that we use driver on docker btrfs and you know this limitation was lifted well i guess you will not praise me for it actually we used zfs in the beginning but it went down our cluster was collapsed actually infrastructure specialists can set it and don't select btr fs because he can tune it and connect to docker's driver now a docker can see the system and i guess you will discuss this linux issues quite soon so we tuned docker de facto but it happened two years ago well i guess that this was the time when i experienced this problem and you know docker is a company as well docker incorporated and what did they do well they experienced all these problems and now their documentation says overlay driver should be used so please switch off this stock driver in productive please use these and these these four drivers depending on the things that your admin knows could you please remind me in the evening why they left this overlay for reversed compatibility and if we return to docker well i needed it to assemble post groom with 1c and never recall why i tuned it with scripts not only me it's about evgeny bisonov as well there is a team of cool 1c specialists that can script something each of them has some knowledge and this knowledge is represented in scripts and so uh, i can say that we need transition to postgres i say docker up you can use virtual system everything is tuned so you can migrate it of course it's just slow but not because of that you know uh, four gigabytes go for virtual system but this is an image that can be launched on local machine of the developer. Well, this is not a geek story. Docker starts selling containers. It happened in 2018. Docker Incorporated starts selling correct containers. The subscription is $5. So you can buy this subscription for $5. A boss for five dollars per month, a Java boss. But that does it work. Well, we had some problems with the network, with the disk, and network DNS. It's real problem. One C server was installed into Docker on Infostart and GitHub. You can find publications about it. Reversed BTR records. So you mentioned it already. We write IP address of the server. We should not write DNS with them because reversed record is not tuned for DNS. This is a continuous mistake for infrastructure specialists. Here we can use IP, but in Docker you cannot do it. If you do not write reversed record, connect will be very long. And everything is about the competence of administrators that set this virtual system. You think that 1C specialists are not competent. I'm not speaking about you, actually. Admins. Sometimes I'm not competent either. So, you know, uh, I really like Dockers. Because I need Dockers. I have very few hardware and I need a lot of instances but my hardware is limited you can use virtual systems it's expensive it's expensive to use virtual systems 700 gigabytes 
gifts to be given for it. 40 gigabytes of disk subsystem should be provided. Okay, two or three gigabytes for subsystem only. I'm not to say nothing of Windows. Where can I get these resources? And what about Docker? Random access memory. The volume is 40 megabytes. So Windows container. It's a bit limited, but it can be about. 463 megabytes. Microsoft supplies it. And by now I see people whose infrastructure costs are like this. A lot of virtual systems and blades in stock and utilization is 1 to 4 percent. And my utilization of the whole infrastructure is 70 percent. Wait a bit. So I bought hardware. And I paid off by 70% and you bought 54 nodes and utilization is zero. So who worked well in that case? Well, you mix different infrastructures. That, that means that you uh, perhaps will utilize the half, and but still, this is a point of a holy war. Here, my uh, okay. I will not speak about the Docker. Thank you very much for your attention. You can find every one of us here in the hollows. So Peter is here also. I wanted to add to my presentation. There is a very serious problem, as we see it, as we do see it in the community. This is the lack of uh, prepared specialists, well tra trained specialists, and we experience when clients ask us for a good Postgres administrator, we cannot find a very good one. It's not so easy because very often the introduction of a Postgres is. Uh, is a transition from the administration of SQL to the administration of administrator of Postgres. It's not that, like this. You need to, to train your staff, and not everybody understands this. And Postgres Pro has courses for trainings. So about courses, we have. Four courses on our website. They are different, and authors uh, Pavel Luzanov and Igor Rogov are here on the conference. You can find them, ask them, and they are reading the courses. And the center and forest is uh, providing the courses. You can get the certificate, and then you can show the certificate to the others. But now Postgres is uh, no DBA. We have two main courses of DBA and DBA3 and uh, they are a bit different but still we do have DBA is, uh, as uh, substructures. Uh, in the 1C world we have uh, so we cool guys don't like 1C because this is uh, rather an application for the ones who don't have so much money and we are speaking about terabytes so this is just a local problem, and DBA on your courses think that they will work on the level of DBA on one terabyte base. I have not experienced this, and I want to remind that I evaluate DBA or 1C from databases. And uh, what are the loads What uh, for UDP and LAP? And I can remember 1C and it collects both of the loads in the one application. Yes, I've been on the InfoStart conferences and on PGConf, and every time I see that when there is a 1C section on PGConf or Postgres on InfoStart, there is not the majority of visitors that are there. It was regarded as something special. Uh, not the not the best specialist, so to say, because everybody wants to have GUIs that are red, green, and yellow, 
And I also want to add some words about the minorities. Last info start shows that there are top two uh, presentations about 1C and Postgres. The biggest rating and the biggest uh, people. Uh, the, we don't have any administrators here. DBA courses are for free and Doji sits there, he's the director of InfoStart, he has a huge work for the last six months, but who uses Portal, you can see the hype on Postgres. We are working here together with Postgres Pro, there are many articles, there, there are many people on the forum who ask questions and get the answers, and here we are raising the awareness. But I think, Dmitry, in one year you will have many admins, administrators for Postgres. Because thank you very much. Now we are at the end, so let us drink coffee.